The cool thing with live chat is that you can chat with all of your Instagram people in one spot. So that includes people who message your Instagram as well as any story mentions. So this allows you to instantly chat with users from all different parts of Instagram. All incoming live chats come into here and that includes all the different platforms. So Instagram, Messenger, SMS, etc. But let's say you want to filter people based off of certain aspects. Maybe it's a custom field or a tag or whatever. You can filter them by this little button here. And I actually already have this tag opted in for IG and this is all the IG people. But if you see if I remove this and hit apply, there's much more here. So there's both Messenger and Instagram here. And then, like I said, you can do a tag, you can do all these different things. You know, you can segment people who have given their email, who haven't given their email, um, lots of different ways, whatever works best for your business. You can do a lot of different things with live chat. Uh, you can send a flow to a specific user. Uh, you can also pause automation. So. In this example, I'm going to just send a flow to myself, an Instagram flow. So let's just do this one here. The message is ebook. So let's send that. You'll see this is kind of the preview of the first one. And there we go. So saying, hey, I'm glad you're interested in the ebook. Do you want it here or deliver it to your email? That's great. Like if I had said, hey, I, I'm interested in getting an ebook or the ebook you've been talking about, how do I access that? It makes it super simple for you to just manually send it to them that way. Now, another thing you can do is pause automations. Let's say maybe there's a client's customers within live chat that I'm just like, I don't want any automation to send them to them or I want to pause it because we're currently in a back and forth about, you know, maybe tracking or looking for their um, order, things like that. So you can actually go over here and click on pause automation and hit this plus 30 minutes and it will increase it or you can turn it off when you're done by clicking that. Now know that um, if you have this paused and you click to go send a, an automation, it will cancel that pause automation. So just an FYI for that. Another little trick that you can do is with utilizing the 24 hour rule to your benefit, let's say you have a person in live chat that you just, for whatever reason, do not want them to receive any automation at all going forward um, for at least the next day, right? That until they initiate with the chatbot again. So what you can actually do is hit this pause automation plus 30 minutes enough time so it gets to 24 hours or 23, it actually goes to 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. And then once it gets there, you'll know that it's past that 24 hour window. So that is also a use case of pause automation if that is something that you need to do f specifically for a person. So another cool thing that you can do is see the interactions from the person. Of course, the messages that they send, but also in Instagram, users can heart your message and you can actually see it in the live chat. So let me show you what that looks like here. I'm going to double tap one of these messages and it's gonna show the heart. So you see, I hearted it right there. You can see that extra engagement. That way you know if a contact inside of your live chat likes a specific message that you sent as that's part of the engagement. The other thing that is really interesting is you can actually see if somebody sends you a message and then deletes that. I'm gonna send this message to the page. I'll say hi there. There it is. So then if I delete this and send, it says the message was deleted. This is really beneficial because that way your live chat agent or yourself will know that there's a piece of the message missing. Another part that you should know about is what user roles for ManyChat can use live chat. To find out, you just go to settings and you go to team and then pretty much it is admin, editor, live chat agent. So it's all of those. The viewer is the only one that cannot use the live chat. So now I want to mention to a couple things for best practices. Make sure that you are responsive to people uh, who are sending you a message. Now, one big thing I want to mention about that, about response and with the, as the example, the pause automation. So let's say you have the default reply set up. 
that will just go off anytime somebody messages your Instagram account, no matter what, what time of day it is, right? You just have that. But of course, if you're responding back and forth, let's say that the pause automation is on because I don't want the default reply to be going off every time I reply to the person in live chat. Well, just to keep in mind, if you reply to users anywhere else besides here in ManyChat's live chat and they reply back to you, this pause automation will not be on. So there might be a chance of automation interrupting your conversation, which doesn't look that great. Uh, someone sends a message saying, hello, I wanna know where my order is. The default reply kicks in saying, hi, thanks for your message. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And you reply to them through the Facebook page inbox or through the Instagram app and say, oh, sure, what is your order number? They reply back with the order number. Because you're replying outside of ManyChat and the pause automation is not paused, they reply back with like order 11232. Then it'll kick in the default reply again and you know, that just, that doesn't look all that great. So keep that in mind. Now that we've got live chat covered, let's head on over to our next lesson to see even more features you can use with Instagram.